Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 7th of April 2023. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the original Rider Waite deck for today's reading. So you can see the difference here between this deck and the Radiant Rider Waite deck where they've kind of cleaned up the colours and the borders but I think this one has its own kind of charm. Let's see what the cards have to say about Friday and what energy you'll be working with. Okay, so first we've got the Queen of Wands. It's very positive. The Star. Wow. And finally, the Ace of Cups. Wow, that is so positive. So we've got a major arcana card. That's the main theme of the day. And the star is really about letting go of the past, detoxing from the negative, and letting your true light shine, and having some sort of personal breakthrough when it comes to yourself. The Ace of Cups is a minor arcana card, so that's the temporary influence of the day. And that's a gift from the universe when it comes to love. So it's self-love and the ability to love yourself if that hasn't been the case so far. Or to really, you know, if you have a, a, a problem in your life that you don't feel like you can overcome and you really give yourself a hard time about it, that's the kind of thing where you can kind of have a word with yourself as such and forgive yourself for how tough you've been and to accept this thing that you may have an issue with because it's only through acceptance and love that things can shift and that you can let go of them. You can't hammer yourself into change through self-criticism. That's been my experience anyway. And then we've got the Queen of Wands. That's a chord card. So that's either a person who comes into your life and who inspires you or who kind of demonstrates that they've gone through this process and they're living the most fabulous life right now. Or the Queen of Wands could be a characteristic that arises from within and the queen of wands is in charge of her element which is fire that has to do with living a life which is purposeful meaningful passionate and and interesting and i think that's an understatement it's more than interesting it's really my life is rich and full and i can't wait to get up in the morning and to do all of these things that i love so much so the queen of wands allows you to really look at your environment and to be grateful for it first of all and to see the joy in it and the queen of wands is very good at taking an existing situation which may not be particularly pleasing and she enters the situation adds her energy the sunflowers the the joy and she transforms the whole thing into something that not only works for her but that makes the entire situation better so it's interesting because if this is a quality that arises from within you, you may have this sense of, do you know what? My life isn't perfect, but look how far I've come and look how many good things I have in my life. Maybe I can even forgive myself for those things that aren't perfect. Maybe I can get over my own perfectionism if it's there. And I can love myself, flaws and all, despite my imperfections. And you know, the irony of that is when you, and again, this has been my experience, when you find that kind of compassion for yourself in your own heart to say, do you know what, I may not be whatever I imagine myself to be at this age or in my life or whatever it is, but I love the person I am now. I'm willing to love something that wasn't initially intended. And that is the, the little crack then that appears that allows you to slip through. And ironically, it's, it's that that allows you to usually become this person that you want to be. So this is a, a day of uh, self-acceptance and self-love and recognizing your own value and what you bring to the table and how you can maximize that and use it to live the kind of life that makes you feel impassioned in the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at each card, the Queen of Wands then. So we, the, the King and the Queen of Wands, they're in charge of the element. And Fire, Wands, has to do with um, creativity. It's like all the fire signs in astrology, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's about leadership and exploration and overcoming obstacles and being independent and being strong. 
And the king, he's someone who kind of builds something from nothing. And the queen of wands is who takes something that already exists and that may not be working. And it's almost like she has a, her wand is a magic wand because she waves that. And the situation can become really, really appropriate. So if there's anything going on in your life which doesn't quite work, look at what you'd like to contribute to that situation to make it better. How can you add more of yourself into something so that it's not just drab and, and boring, but it's something that you want to be invested in? So just like a very kind of mundane example, let's, let's say for a holiday, you always go to a uh, relative's house and you have dinner there and the food's kind of meh and no one's really loving it and the conversation doesn't really... <laughs> it, it doesn't do anything for anybody. So you could decide, okay, this year we're all going over there again. I want to um, make this a really great party for everyone. So you could have a word with the host before and say, hey, maybe we should have a theme or maybe we should add some decorations or maybe we should have some parlor games or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So by your contribution and wanting to have a good time yourself, you're able to, to kind of wave that magic wand and make it better for everybody. The cat here protects the Queen of Wands because what she's doing here by bringing all this warmth and heat and passion into the world, she takes a risk, right? Someone may reject her or someone may say, well, you're far too positive. We don't do that over here. And <laughs> because the black cat is there, it doesn't dampen her spirit. The Queen of Wands really, I think, is the one card that does not ever suffer from self-doubt or depression. She's someone who focuses on the positive and growth and, and, and doing things which are life affirming. So it's that positive approach and possibly even doing things like that where you're like, okay, I'm going to transform this situation by involving myself. That you, what becomes revealed to you is your true self and that you have the power to really change a lot of situations just by talking or by um, making some sort of personal contribution. And that then shows you these, these hidden talents that you may not have been aware of or that you may not have really taken very seriously as significant. You may have thought, well, everyone can be charming at a family lunch or whatever. But you realize on this day that that's something you have. So you focus on the star quality of who you are, the things that make you shiny and sparkle. And it kind of outweighs the negative and it's almost like a seesaw that tips. And because it tips in the direction of all the good things that you're now seeing by these cards, it's almost like some of the negatives drop away. And that is a natural process of forgiving yourself for the things that you may not be perfect at because now they seem to be outweighed by the things that you like about yourself. And you know what I'm also getting is that if this whole process of you loving yourself and, and releasing, then that obviously puts you in a very good spot. And it also makes it very possible for you to start a new loving relationship with someone else because you're really going into this situation with, with an authentic open heart. You're, there's no facade here. There's passion, there's realness, and there's love. So the, the self-love and the acceptance that creates a, a vibe around you that other people are going to be attracted to. So if you're out and about and if you're single and looking, then keep your eyes and ears open. The Ace of Cups is a blessing from the universe and Cups is all about connection. So connection with the higher realms who make you feel loved, connection with other people in a loving way. It's all about love and creativity and imagination. So here we've got this dove coming down across and it's the intersection between spirituality and your feelings. So you feel that you've been blessed in some way and your cup is running over with love and positivity and abundance. So this is a day to love yourself and to also discover <clears throat> something that you absolutely love to do. Like in my deck of cards, the Queen of Wands is an artist who's just exhibiting her work. So it can be a, a love for something that really you're able to do and that then also reveals this talent which allows you to let go of some of the negatives and you become more loving towards yourself and to everybody else yeah it's true sometimes i wonder you know like i wonder why we're made up the way we are like 
this it's 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 so convoluted at times like why are we so hard on ourselves when we fail instead of just saying do you know what no one else is supporting you in this situation everyone's having a go and saying you really messed this up why on earth would i join that mob and berate myself as well why on earth don't i at the very least why am i not on team me it makes no sense I think that's a temperament thing. Let me know in the comment. If you, let me know if you have always been on Team You and if you've been 100% consistent with that in your whole life and if you've always got your back. Because I want to speak to you and learn that. Please, teach me. <laughs> For the rest of us who aren't always like that, this is a day to, to become aware of, I, I suppose, our own... Um, I think the word cruelty isn't too strong, like our own uh, lack of generosity towards ourselves. And today it's the recognition of something truly valuable that changes your own mind about you. So from dislike to like, if that's the case, this is one of those days where you can really shift it. Also, um, if you're already in a, in a place where you, you're living your life purpose, you think you are the star that you are, you're in love, you love the world, this is a great day to show up and to perform and to shine that light. Number-wise, we got the queen, which is one. And what's this? 17. So that's 18. And another one is 19. One and nine is 10. And 10 reduces to one in numerology. One is the vibration of the pioneer, the boss, the person who's a fire sign, who overcomes obstacles, who leads, who performs, who's in the spotlight, who's in positions of authority. So it's really about what makes me feel passionate and how can I engage with that and use my skills and talents in the process. Wow. So if you want to fall in love with yourself in your work, if you want to fall in love with another person, if you want to fall in love with some quality that you've got that you now become aware of, this is the day to do it. So... Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of what you'll be working with on this day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. I use the tarot, astrology, numerology, and my intuition in my personal reading. So if you have any questions that you'd like answered, please get in touch, whether that's life purpose or relationships, what's coming up in future locations, spiritual development, finances, anything at all. Um, and if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Um, I mentioned that um, Robin and I are working on the merch store. We met up yesterday, um, but one of the, the designs is delayed. So it's, it's going to take a few more days, but I'll keep you guys posted. I just want to get it right before we put it up. So um, I'd rather wait than have it, you know. I mean, I am a Virgo after all. Okay, so have a wonderful day, um, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. All the best.